what's up? This is Nina and this is Getchu. You guys have to face the camera. Come here. Come here. And as you could tell, she has pretty straight hair, just a little wavy, and he has dead straight hair. So I'm gonna make a video on how I groom dogs that have straight hair and long coats. Um, I've been growing her out. She used to be a lot shorter and he's always been long. So I just trim his ends and make him really beautiful and flowy. All right, so yeah, just follow me on this journey. And I'm doing this video because I know some groomers that have a hard time and are kind of scared of straight hair. Uh, because it's a lot different than curly hair and curly coats. So yeah, I'll just show you guys how I go about it, okay? Yay. Hi kids. Hi kids. I'm gonna use Omela on them and my secret. I'm also gonna use keratin conditioner. All right, guys, so I diluted the Omela shampoo in a old uh, shampoo gallon, and I'm pretty much pouring this all over them, making sure it hits their skin and not just the surface of their hair, and I'm just going to go ahead and massage this in. I didn't show the shampoo that I use, but it's South Park's Blueberry Facial. Um, I use this one quite a lot. And this breed tends to get a lot of eye buggers, so it's really important to just saturate their face with the shampoo and the water just to help loosen all that up. time and I'm just gonna go ahead and take a generous amount and apply it all over their coat and let it sit for a couple of minutes and this literally works its magic right away uh, right when I rinse it off their coat is just so soft and it smells so good they're sitting in their conditioner I'm gonna take this time and go in with my Foxy Roxy brush I really like this brush it's, it has really soft bristles uh, but it really gets in there and I'm just going to brush it through
All right, now it is drying time and notice how I'm using a flat nozzle to dry Nina's hair. I'm going to use the same nozzle to dry Cashew's hair and the reason being is because straight hair while being dried could tangle up and I just don't wanna create double the work for myself. Also, if you try to detangle dry hair, uh, the chances of it being frizzy is pretty high. Okay, so Nina is pretty much dry, so I'm just gonna take my Chris Christensen slicker brush and brush it all the way through. next step is taking my comb and combing it all the way through making sure she has no tangles and making sure that the hair dried straight Now it's Getchu's turn and I'm going to put him on the grooming loop only because he's very skinny and fragile under all that hair and sometimes I just feel like he's gonna fly away with the blow dryer. So yeah, let's get started. You'll see how flowy he is at the end. So whenever I groom a dog with straight hair, the first thing I make sure of before I start is that they are completely tangle-free. Just makes my pro the process a lot faster and easier on me so I don't have to stop and detangle them as I go. see any groomer put their hair up in a messy bun let's just say it's about to go down or we're about to get to work all right guys so i'm gonna do nina first and i am gonna go ahead with a 15 blade and do her sanitary area first and then I'm going to switch it off to a 40 blade and do her paw pads. Okay, so before I begin, I'm going to create a line down her back with my comb. And uh, I just want the hair to sit that way and that's why I do it. And plus, it's going to give me an even cut on both sides. Okay, so for her feet, I'm using my Solita uh, Asian fusion shears. They are really curved and they're pretty tiny. They're great for feet. They're great for small feet They're great for poodle feet and they're great for faces. So that's why I'm using these Now I've switched out to my Chris Christensen curved shears and I'm going to start with the back of her legs and I'm just evening out her 
butt area, the back of her legs, and in between her legs. So when I'm getting ready to scissor straight hair, I always use my half moon comb. And the reason being is because the teeth aren't really far apart. They're very much together. And that way I could grab any little fine hair and scissor it evenly. Okay, now for her skirt, because I want a very even cut, I'm going to switch off to my straights. They are Chris Christensen and I will link them below. Now after I cut straight hair, I always go in with my thinning shears just to take the bluntness off and kind of soften those edges. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of her skirt and I'm just going to make sure that it is even with her other side and the way I do that is just by picking up her legs slightly and looking at her underneath. guys are able to see how I divided up her hair. It just looks so clean and it just helps me with the scissoring process. Now I'm going in with my guide thinning shears and I'm just gently going in on the corners of her eyes and thinning out that hair. Okay, now I'm gonna give her a bow and I'm gonna separate the top of her head into two pieces and then I'm going to put a rubber band on both of those pieces and then on top of that, I'll put another rubber band with the bow. Okay, something to make note of when you are putting a rubber band on top of a dog's head or on each ear or even one ear is to be careful on how tight that rubber band is because it could really hurt them and it could really pull at their skin and not only that but you don't want to leave it in more than like a day or two you um, do want to take it out and maybe redo it because it could cause mass.
So growing out her baby hairs in the front is a journey that I haven't embarked on with her at all. So what I do is like I just comb them forward and trim them up a little bit and it still looks cute. I do give them Yorkie ears and Yorkie ears are pretty much just tipped ears um, and that means that I pretty much just take my 15 blade and I shave the ends of her ears and then I scissor around it. Yorkies get tipped ears so they're able to put their ears up and there's not the extra weight at the tip of their ears. So I'm going to finish off Nina's haircut by applying Chris Christensen Silky Spirits and this is pretty much just a serum. It's almost like when us ladies blow dry our hair and we do a serum right afterwards just to increase the shine and increase the softness. This is pretty much the same thing and I even use it in short hair dogs after their bath and yeah it's great for long hair coats. Just a side note, Ketchu is completely obsessed with his sister and pretty much thinks of her as his wife. So yeah, he keeps an eye on her at all times and checks in with her at all times throughout the grooming process. But he knows that it's his turn now, so here we go. Alright, so as always, I'm going to start with the sanitary area and I'm going to use a 15 blade and I'm going to just trim around his private parts very, very gently because he has very thin and sensitive skin and I'm going to do the same on his behind. So I'm using the same Solita shears on Ketchu that I did with Nina for his paws and I will link these below. So notice before I scissor, I comb everything out beforehand. This is a must, especially when you're dealing with straight coats because any little mistake or any unevenness is going to show so much more than any other curly coat dog. So you just want to be sure that you have a really, really good comb with the correct type of teeth to go ahead and help you through the process. Here 
I'm gonna create the same line down the back that I did with Nina and again this just helps me separate the hair into two and all I have to worry about is that their hair is even on both sides of their body. Another trick while grooming straight hair is combing the hair outwards, not up, not down, but outwards so you could actually see the real length of the hair and trim evenly. Alright, so I'm going to tip his ears exactly how I did with Nina and again I use a 15 blade and sometimes I'll use a 40 blade inside of the ear. And to trim around the edges of the ears, you could either take your curves or you could take your straights. In this case, I took my straights because they were right next to me. And you are going then carefully to trace the leather of the ear with those scissors. Then I'm just taking my guide thinning shears and I'm going to go ahead and blend any of the harsh edges that were left behind by my clippers. So as always, one of my last steps before finishing up their body is to go ahead and take my Chris Christensen thinning shears, which again, I will link below. And I pretty much just blend those blunt edges of their skirt just to make it look a little bit more flowy and just a little bit less harsh. Okay, now for his visor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to comb all that hair forward and then I'm going to go ahead and create a half a circle uh, to create his visor.
reason why I'm doing a short round face on him is because his owners do like their faces pretty short to avoid food and water getting in it. This is me just attempting um, to get his ears up so I could be able to see how even it is on each side. And when you are doing Yorkie faces or tipped ears, and um, I would say a lot of terriers, you would want them to put their ears up so you are able to see how even it is. Here they are they are all done i went ahead and gave get you a bow tie to match nina's bow i wanted to say thank you guys so much um if you enjoyed this video or found it useful please hit the subscribe button please hit the like button and tap that bell to get notifications on more upcoming videos thank you